is Michelle Shorey. I work at the JCPS ESL office, and I'd like to show you a couple of my very favorite ways to translate or get help with language on phones. But before I show you these applications on phones, I want to show you what they look like on a Chromebook. Okay. So let's say that you are at home with your choice board and you want to translate some of the options. You can always go to Google Translate and type in, so the first box on here says favorites. So it says, um, think of your favorite movie. So I went to translate.google.com and then I typed in, think of your favorite movie. It gave me an automatic translation in Spanish, okay? I can also change the language over here Google Translate offers more than 100 languages, but I can also click this microphone here. Think of your favorite movie, period. And that gives me a really fast translation. I can hear this read aloud. Think of your favorite movie. Or this. Piensa en tu película favorita. So that's a really fast way to translate things. Also notice you can translate documents. So you can click here and upload, you know, a PDF file or a document that you want to translate the whole thing. Another place you can go is to Office. So Microsoft has a really powerful tool called um, Immersive Reader. And Immersive Reader works really well in Word. So if you are at home, go to office.com on your Chromebook and then click right here on Word. It's going to open up a new document for you. You can type in, think of your favorite movie, and you're going to have this button here that says view. Click view, and then that opens up Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is a really powerful tool. It was developed to actually help students who have dyslexia or a hard time reading, but it does a lot. So one of the first things you can do is have it read to you. Think of your favorite movie. If you click here, you can adjust it. Maybe that was a little fast. You can slow it down or speed it up. You can also change the, um, the voice selection to be male or female. In addition, you can click on grammar options. So if you are studying parts of speech, like nouns, verbs, adjectives, it will actually highlight them in different colors for you. But the one that you're gonna find most valuable is here. This is where you can pick a picture dictionary. So if this is turned on, you can click and get pictures for all of these words. Favorite, I love it. Or you can actually get a translation. So I'm gonna click on Arabic and make sure you slide over document, that's important. So it does the whole thing. And then you're going to see that I have that sentence in Arabic and still it has parts of speech. Click the arrow and it's going to read it to you in Arabic. Click here again for voice settings if you want to speed it up or slow it down. So those are two of my favorites. They're Google Translate and Microsoft Immersive Reader. Now you can get both of these actually on phones. So let me show you. So if you go into the App Store on your phone, if you get something called Microsoft Office Lens, this is going to let you do Immersive Reader on your phone. The other one is called Google Translate, and that's another app that you can have on your phone. And I'm going to do screenshots on my phone so you can see what they look like. I will do um, Google Translate first so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm going to use um, the Office, Office Lens to activate Immersive Reader. And I'll do both of these on my phone for you. Go ahead and open your Google Translate app. Make sure you have your input language as English, then select your output language. Now you're gonna take your camera and hover over your text that you want to translate. Soon it will clear up and you will get an instant translation. You can also change the language. I'm going to go from Swahili to Spanish now.
and voila, an instant translation. Now let's look at Office Lens. Go ahead and open the app and make sure it's on document. And now let's snap a picture. After you snap the photo, you are going to crop the image so that we just have the text that we want to put into Immersive Reader. Once we get that image, we're going to click Done, and then we'll scroll down to Immersive Reader. Now all of those capabilities that I showed you earlier are available here. Favorites. Think of your favorite movie, video games, or books and compare slash contrast the characters, settings, or Provide enough description so someone unfamiliar with your choices can understand you. You can change languages by clicking the book. Make sure again you have document marked. Press play. Favoritos. Piensa en su película favorita, videojuegos o libros y comparar diagonal contrast. So that's it. Um, I just shared with you two ways that you can easily translate information on your computer. And then I showed you two ways you can do it on your phone. One is by getting the app Google Translate and hovering over things. And the second is by getting the app called Microsoft Office Lens and then hovering over things, taking a picture, and then pushing it to something called Immersive Reader. And then you can use all of those tools. So thank you so much. Good luck. And if you need any help, you can reach me at, let me slide this up, michelle.shory at jefferson.kyschools.us. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Have a good day. Happy learning.